we consider Boko Haram terrorists as government boys. As our superior said, our duty is to catch them, not to hand them. Nigerian soldier in North East Clan. You just heard it. They told them not to harm them, but to catch them. In which planet do soldiers go catching terrorists instead of shooting them aside? Because you and I know that terrorists don't surrender. This is why they have continued to kill both Igbo soldiers, the so called Ijo soldiers, and the, even the Edo soldiers who are there and the not serving. But when it comes to our land, those that are not even terrorists, someone like the blood sucking demon, number four post demon, who asked the bag hook or the DSS or the soldiers to massacre them in number. When I told you that evil men are useless, take it from me. Look, don't get it twisted. I don't give a damn. I said it is the way it is. It doesn't matter who that person is. I agree with you. Some of them are not. But the ones that are useless are even more than those that are not useless. That you have chicken change or you have small money somewhere. That you stole from somewhere or you did the for one and got it from somewhere. Or whatever. Does not mean that you are reasonable and responsible. All these leaders who have in Igbo land that call themselves leaders are useless. This is why they have continued to kill innocent people in that land. This is it. They were told to capture Bukaram, not to kill them. This was what a military man from the north said. Now ask this question. On which planet does they catch Bukaram? Apart from shooting them aside. What planet? But in Nigeria. Anything goes. But when it comes to Biafra land, the so-called old Eastern region. Every leader there want to be a mafia, even though when he is not. When you capture him tomorrow, before you know what is happening, he will be in trousers. All this noise making about uh, I will do this, I will do that because they have the immunity as a governor, or whatever they are. Capture them tomorrow, you will see how they will be peeing in their trousers and their bosses because they are cowards from pit of hell. If they are not cowards, how come they allow our brothers and sisters to be massacred? I've said it before. If I have one quarter of what some people have by now, that idiot now in that government house who massacred 14 people will not be there breathing. This is what. Men who are men, those not the other way around. Who no go, no, no. They continue to kill our brothers and sisters because they want to be relevant. They left their children there in overseas, they school there. Today's turn, if some of us, some of our brothers who are somewhere, both in Germany, 
both in London, both in Scotland, even those in America, they go to their businesses, their wash plate. These are children of those that we call our leaders. All this money, our money is still stolen. I mean, from us, our resources. This is why Nigeria has continued to remain the way it is today. When it comes to a woman, he can do anything possible to get what he wants, including selling his families. He had me right. I don't give a damn. I said it is the way it is. This is because they have brought themselves down to their stand. The ginger we do not have respect for them anymore. Before the war, Igbos were considered to be genius. They turned things around. The so called politics that the North are claiming today to be theirs in them are born to rule. was brought by Zeke. It's not because of Zeke and Awolowo. All these who politicians who are coming to repair the not so they steal money even after their salaries they have continued to steal from the masses just to read their pocket more and more and what these poor people ask is just to schools seaport international airport good environment for them to accept upon that you will have continued to kill them you could not provide anything meaningful for them. And for this, they decide that they no longer believe in Nigeria anymore. And for this, you have to kill them. You have to save your slave masters. And because of this, you have continued to kill your own brothers and sisters. And you are busy lasting in government house. Issuing threat upon threat. This was the same man who issued threats against children. In their school compound, he claimed that uh, some bad guys are using uh, around that place for something else. That if they did not move the children there, that when he go there next time, he are going to bombard them. And the Molai did not do anything. The so-called Hanese did not do anything. I'm a shadow of Hanese. You see them everywhere, all the whole world. They are somewhere. We are in Abuja, the Ibo, Ndala, Ndala, Nakuili. Just come on to impeach that nonsense man there in government house. They can't. They have reduced themselves in issuing press statements here and there. When they're supposed to be taking action. This man that calls himself opposite them, man, he was not governor of Imo State. He did not win. He was imposed on Imo Elite. And today. If I tell you how many people this man has killed in collaboration with Buhari government, APC, and Catherine Alian, you will not believe me. And some some non entities are busy parading themselves as uh, freedom fighters somewhere in Finland making noise why things are going wrong. 
à l'homme de la Columbia Business messed up my life. That is why things are like this. There is a lot of things to do for those who think that they can kill innocent people and go free with it. I think enough is enough. Enough is enough. They have done everything possible. First of all, what they did was Kinamas Namdekano, the only voice that Biafra masses have. Yes, I call him the only voice because. Some of us actually pretend we are fighting for Biafra, whereas uh, we are deceiving people, duping them, collecting their money. Time has come for this to change. And for that to change, something rash must be done. This is the time for the truth, not time for chopping money. I think I've come to the end of this news. Jay, your friend.